Hey everyone, and welcome back to this channel. Today we're diving into set one of the Arkansas All-Region All-State Trumpet Audition Music for High School Trumpet Players, grades 10 through 12. I'm doing something a little different this year and putting all of the etudes right here on this one video. Check out the chapter bars so that you can easily jump around to the etude that you're working on. In addition to performing each etude, I'll be offering tips so that you can get a better understanding of what is expected and how to prepare for your audition. Let's get started. I just want to quickly mention that if you get value here, please click like and consider subscribing to this channel for more trumpet related content. It helps the channel get momentum and it alerts you when new videos are being released. Now let's get into it. First up is Roger Voisin's Etude Number no. 1 from his 12 Studies for Trumpet. The ASBOA metronome marking for this one is quarter note equals 84 to 96. I tend to go more on the slow side on this one. I find 84 to be a good tempo. Any faster and the dotted rhythms toward the end begin to sound chaotic. On the accelerando on the last bar of the sixth line, really work toward an even quality that propels forward into the next line at the ah tempo. Be careful not to play triplets on the dotted rhythms in the last three lines. Also, the last two notes should be full value. Don't play these too short. Next, we have etude number 11, also from Roger Voisin's 12 Studies for Trumpet. The ASPOA tempo marking for this one is quarter note equals 88 to 100. I prefer a little faster tempo on this one, around quarter note equals 100. Certainly, you have to work this one up slowly before you try to do it at tempo. In the opening bar, I triple tongue the 16th note triplets using a 2 2 coup syllable. If you try to single tongue these, they can sound stressed out. On the accents at the end of the seventh line, don't go too short on those. If you play them longer, it will help them pop a little bit more as opposed to playing them too short. On the trill note, I like to trill to beat four and treat the last three grace notes as if they are 16th notes. One excerpt that you often see at Allstate auditions on this particular etude is starting with the pickups to the last three lines all the way to the end. Why? Probably because it's not easy. Three lines from the end, you have to work toward accuracy. It is really easy for extracurricular notes to come out. Practice this slowly until you're confident in where you're placing the notes. Where it says Dolce at the end of the line, completely change the style on those pickup notes. They should be very connected. In the next to last bar, play full valued quarter notes here. On the low G at the end, work toward a full resonant sound. Take a listen to voice on etude number 11.
The third etude of set one is from Robert Getchell's second book of Practical Studies for Cornet and Trumpet. In fact, the rest of the studies in this video will be from the Getchell book. This one is Getchell number 80. Getchell 80 is a personal favorite out of this book. It's beautiful and expressive with a lot of detail and nuance. The ASBOA metronome marking for this one is quarter note equals 54 to 60. I like to go around 60 on this one so that I can easily make all of the phrases comfortably from a breathing standpoint. Start this one soft, but be very expressive throughout. Feel free to find where the music crescendos or decrescendos and add those effects, even if it is not marked. Make sure to observe all the musical suggestions like at the end of the second line and later the crescendo at the double bar and all of the molto retardandos. Speaking of the retardandos, I like to take my time coming out of each of them and take a nice breath into the next phrase. For example, before the double bar on the third line, after the second bar on the fourth line, and after the first bar of the fifth line. The climax of the etude happens the first two bars of the last line. Really sing out here before giving way to the diminuendo. Here is a performance of Getchell Etude number 80. The next etude is Getchell number 81. This is a really good etude as well. The ASBOA metronome marking is quarter note equals 76 to 80. It starts off very grandiose, but changed to a more lyrical style in the pickups into the third bar, and then right back to the more marked style in the second line. On the dolce in the third line, make sure to play this very connected. In the Legiro section, about two thirds down the page, ASBOA does not specify a tempo marking here. I like somewhere around quarter note equals 100 to quarter note equals 110. It's obviously faster than the beginning, it is marked Pumoso. Try not to play too heavy here. In the pickup to the last line, we are back to the original style. Make sure to put an exclamation point on the ending and finish strong. Here's a performance of Getchell number 81.
The next etude is Getchel number 84. The ASBOA metronome marking for this one is quarter note equals 120 to 132. This one is more of a rhythmic exercise to make sure that you can differentiate between the triplets and the dotted eighth sixteenths. There are no dynamics written other than the mezzo forte marked at the very beginning. Use your imagination and make this one sound more interesting. Feel free to write in your own dynamics. Here's my take on Getchel number 84. Next is Getchel 105. The ASBOA marking on this one is eighth note equals 80 to 88. More than anything else, this one should be played beautifully and lyrically. You can breathe every two bars or every four bars, whichever you prefer. Just make sure that it is a musical breath and that this one sounds like one long phrase. You don't want big holes in this one. Make sure that the slowdown in the last two bars is gradual. Also, feel free to sing out on this one throughout. Take a listen to Getchel number 105. The last etude of set one is Getchel number 109. ASBOA metronome marking for this one is dotted quarter note equals 72 to 80. I would recommend practicing this one with the eighth note until you get a good feel. Exaggerate all the dynamic markings and play rhythmically. I like to do a small retardando leading up to the key change. I also like to do a small slowdown in the last bar. Take a listen to Getchel number 109. And that's it for our exploration of the Arkansas Allstate trumpet audition music. Remember, perfect practice makes perfect. So keep working on these etudes and applying the tips we discussed today. Good luck with your audition, and don't forget to subscribe for more trumpet-related content. If you have any questions about these etudes, don't hesitate to reach out in the comments below. See you in the next video.